The Comox Valley landmark is still standing tonight thanks to the quick efforts of volunteer firefighters. Crews were called to the Old House restaurant early this morning when neighbors noticed smoke pouring out of the 73-year-old Heritage Building. The restaurant is well known to many on Vancouver Island for its rustic atmosphere and rich history. And as CTV's Gord Kerbis shows us, there is great relief the building can be saved. When fire crews first arrived on the scene at Courtney's Old House restaurant, they knew they had an important battle on their hand, trying to save another Comox Valley landmark from destruction. Upon my arrival, I uh, was directed to the back side of the restaurant here with patio area and it was burning on the outside of the building, but it just got into the soffit area and of course got into the roof area. Firefighters took chainsaws and axes to the roof of the 83-year-old building, trying desperately to get at the flames they knew were underneath. It was between the roof and the shingle area, and so we had to pull off all the shingles and pull off the inside uh, vaulted ceiling also. The fire was first discovered around 1.30 this morning and was quickly responded to by volunteer firefighters. The building sits in between two phases of the Old House Village Suites. Suite owners were able to get a front row view of the firefighters' efforts. I think they did a really, really good job of saving the rest of the building. This is an old wooden structure and uh, I was worried about the main structure here and uh, they were fighting very hard to, to save that. The blaze became heavily concentrated in the area around the restaurant's bar. This part of the building is in addition to the main structure. The spread of the fire was slowed down by the fact it had to try to burn through a thick outside wall between the two sections. This is the newest part of the building here. This is the old Kirk House in the 70s, I guess it was turned into a restaurant and the south end of the building where the fire was, it was added on to the house at that time. Had their efforts failed, the Old House restaurant would likely have joined the fate of other Comox Valley landmarks destroyed by fire including the EW Theatre, the Lorne Hotel, and most recently the old Buckerfields building. But today, those who enjoy the old house are relieved it was saved. It's a landmark and it's a really special place to a lot of people. Uh, for instance, my brother, you know, he uh, proposed to his wife here and my best friend's wedding was here and people want to take their photos here. So I was very concerned last night when I saw the flames. It was, it was really heart-wrenching to watch. Restoration crews were already on the scene this morning cleaning out some of the burnt debris. The restaurant's owners say they'll try to reopen as soon as possible, but they're taking the setback hard, according to this adjacent business owner. Uh, not good, obviously. I mean, it's, it's important to them and it's very important to us to have a restaurant next door, but maybe there's a possibility that they can run part of it because it looks like it was contained to one of the areas. So maybe they can shut that down and we can actually still operate part of the upstairs and, and as you enter. The RCMP's arson investigator was also on the scene this morning verifying the fire did start in the outside patio area. The fire is being treated as suspicious at this point until an exact cause can be determined. Gord Kerbis, CTV News, Courtney.